On the 17th of March 2011, the first EGNOS approach and landing procedure in Europe is put into service over Pau Pyrénées Airport. EGNOS allows the implementation of a new kind of satellite vertically guided approach service by DSNA. EGNOS improves GPS precision. And in case of failure of satellite signals, the air crews are warned within some seconds. The EGNOS program is an initiative of the European Commission, the European Space Agency, Eurocontrol, and of the main air navigation service providers in Europe. The system architecture has been defined by a joint ESA-CNES team based in Toulouse and developed by Thales Alenia Space. EGNOS services are delivered by the ESSP company based in Toulouse under a contract awarded by the European Commission, the infrastructure owner. GPS satellites broadcast navigation signals. EGNOS reference stations receive in real time GPS signals. Throughout the EGNOS network, these GPS signals are further sent to processing centers which create the specific EGNOS messages. These messages are then uplinked by stations who connect to geostationary satellites. Finally, the EGNOS messages are broadcast downward over a wide area, including Europe. Airbus Transport International, who is carrying Airbus aircraft pieces over Europe, is the first European airline equipped with EGNOS. Soon, new generation aircraft, like the Airbus A350, will be equipped with EGNOS. EGNOS improves safety and airport accessibility over many airports used by general aviation, regional aviation, business jets, and helicopters. The use of satellites avoids deploying ground-based beacons over each landing runway. DSNA plans to implement EGNOS approach and landing procedures over all metropolitan France IFR runway ends. Other systems are compatible with EGNOS. They support identical services to users equipped with the relevant avionics. Several thousands of approach procedures are already deployed over North America. India and Russia are now developing similar systems which will help enlarging the Northern Hemisphere coverage. EGNOS extension towards Africa is also being worked out now. The EGNOS service implementation is also beneficial to Galileo.
Cygnos will broadcast in the future Galileo augmentation signals, as is already the case for GPS.